Now our next guest coming up is a Nutra Megadon and I don't see her. Oh, I see her popping in. Oh, Nitro! Joining DIY Con right now is a Nitro Megadon girl. I just made a present earring. <laughs> kind of jealous. <laughs> but I made a bow and arrow. And then I made a present earring. So like, this has been an awesome day of like making stuff. I made a wine buddy. I made, um, oh, my tile art. Did you see my Buddha? Uh, I'm all about the Buddhas. I'm not gonna lie. I did sprouting him, but. That looks awesome. I had, I had a broken Buddha. So I, we were making mosaic so i have a buddha belly right in the middle i have to i didn't really grout him very well yet because this i only have 30 minutes to make each project um it's crazy all up in here so i'm gonna clean up while you tell me how you are okay so i'm good i um i worked on things for this project this is going to be really fun and i feel like this could be these could be really great gifts they're kind of like um memory kind of like memory boxes in a way but they're ornaments they're it's like a cloche it's pretty cool um a cloche. yeah like a cloche i i guess chicks know what that means <laughs> most chicks know. i don't know what a cloche is you're gonna have to like i guess i hang around with boys too much i uh yeah a cloche it's kind of like you know when you see things under a glass bell jar and it's just like oh, yeah. yeah so it's a collection of of um treasures and trinkets well we took that version and and who's we i don't know who we is but i shrunk it down you and the spirits around you the diy goddesses <laughs> and i thought i would make a cloche for christmas for the christmas tree um, well of course yeah and this is the funny time of year where everyone's on my mind you know like um people i've like my grandparents and places I've been and things like that. So I started to dig through um, some boxes and found some of grandma's old earrings and things to include in them. So every time you take it out and hang it on the tree, you're gonna go, oh, that's Nana's brooch or oh my God, that's the first Buddha I ever bought or that's the piece of jewelry that, you know, Nani and Big Daddy gave me when I was 12. So it's really awesome. It's very cool. That's like a, that's really kind of a powerful thing because I have, um, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a young person in my old family. We don't, I don't, I never really got to know my grandparents or anything, but I have like objects and stuff. So huh. but I didn't bring any of that stuff here today to make my cloche. Well, you could do anything. You can make this very traditional and just do, um, a uh, um, I'm making a cloche in honor of the honeybee. So, <laughs> so I don't know what you think of this idea, but I don't know if this is big enough. I that could work. Use in a jar. So um, I think the jar is a really cool way to go because you know if you want to, you could even make it a snow globe. I um, I love inexpensive crafts, so I went to the dollar store and grabbed those. You know those wine glasses where the box come off right? yes and you get six of them for a buck so that's what i'm using to make my um my little ornaments for christmas um yeah because for just a couple bucks you have six ornaments you know and so the other thing i have i was gonna go like traditional and i've got this um I, ice cream container <laughs> And then I have this randomness I found in my bow box. So I'm thinking I can take the presents off of it and the little star and stuff and make like a very traditional. So it goes with my honeybee. I, you know, I pre-did some so you could see them, but man, I went outside and grabbed a couple pine cones and uh, acorns and did kind of a fall themed one. I don't know if you it but um yeah, I think it's beautiful I yarn bombed my um I yarn bombed <laughs> my pine cone uh and yeah and just added some glitter and stuff so that's 
kind of because fall is our favorite time of year so um plus it's cool it has that kind of boho vibe uh gosh i've got some vintage keys in this one and moss i don't know the light is not your friend in this situation um but, yeah, but i get the vibe that you're put so do i glue everything to the lid yeah so how i did it because i did it a little bit different um i'm a power tool chick <laughs> so i took my dremel and like tacked the tip off of my wine glass to give me a hole um because i don't have a lid like you have a lid so i'm kind of put sticking mine together the old school way right okay i took Dremel, cut off the tip, and now I have a hole so that I can hang uh, stuff in it. And then all I did was I took my hole punch because um, I've got a couple of these laying around, and this is a great size. You don't, if you don't have a hole punch, it's cool. But um, I started cutting out some dog bone boxes <laughs> to give me a base because I don't have a lid, um, and started gluing them together. And then at, with the same hole punch, punched out some pretty paper. And so, <laughs> yeah, dog bone boxes. We got a lot of those in the house. Um, so step number one, if you don't have a lid to glue it to, uh, step number one would be making your lid pretty. If you do have a lid to glue it to, and if you don't, just gluing some cardboard together and covering the ugly stuff with pretty paper. Yeah, I love that. I like how you did that. And I'm actually using my kosher dill sandwich slices. Um, Thing here so I need to take the label off of it so I've got some that's cool goo stuff here somewhere I thought maybe not I don't see it off or whatever get that goo gone to get I don't know it's somewhere around here I don't see it though oh there it is it's like right in front of my face so seriously your lid you don't even have to put paper down if you don't want to I had no choice because I went old school and started punching out yeah. board um, but you can actually cover that entire lid with glitter once you're done gluing your seam to it, which I did. Um, so my route, I actually, um, glued some kind of a, it's, it's kind of like a mini tinsel ribbon to the edge that you don't. Yeah. That's okay. yeah. So, I like that. Um, it also adds that cool little detail when you glue the, the top on. I'm not getting this off in a hurry. Okay, I'm going to abandon this jar because that's just not going to work. But I want to use my um, homage to this. This is not tall enough for it, though. Look at that. Oh, maybe if I did diagonal. Pull it at an angle. Um, I'll give you a, yeah. So my pine is too big to stick on, but I did it at an angle and just kind of propped it with some moss. Mm-hmm. That's smart. Let's mention <laughs> your homage to bees, to honeybees. So, Bruce, well, yeah, the bees need it. I don't think that they're recognized enough at the holiday time. And I think Pooh Bear would appreciate it, don't you? I do. Um, there's also a lot of beekeepers nowadays. I don't know if you've noticed. I have a bunch of friends that, char that are bee charmers or whatever the proper word is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so they would totally dig that gift. Uh, I'm going to go a little old school and do a Christmas scene. I've got a snowman that I made with polymer clay and a Christmas tree. Um, and really, no matter what you're doing, if you're doing <laughs> uh, guitar picks and toy guitars, um, maybe you've got, if you can steal some of your son's old Tonka trucks, like those little mini toy trucks oh yeah i love them i think i have one like right nearby too i could totally use but i won't because i already used his minecraft minifigures to make, make this earlier so <laughs> that's awesome um what i like I, you know honestly those little um, matchbox trucks would be awesome because you could tie a christmas tree to the back of it and do a, a cute scene i actually have you know these really Everybody sees these bottle brush trees everywhere. I got like six of them for two bucks and it was 50% off. So I think I paid a buck for six of these. Um, I actually used one of these and I wasn't digging the green color. So I wrapped it with a fuzzy yarn, right? Cause it really kind of. Oh yeah. That makes it so pretty. So I like, so you just keep wrapping it around 
And before you know it, you have, you know, kind of a, a fun colored tree. I, I have Italian sausage fingers, so I keep dropping everything because they're so tiny. <laughs> but um, see the difference? So it's really fun. And yeah. You can do this with any color uh, without having to bleach your trees, dye your trees, or paint them, you know? You just wrap them with yarn. Super simple. Look, I made a, I put a little bee in, in, in my, I cut him out. Look, he's right there with his honeys. They're adorable. So they totally know how to do this. It's not like this is a stretch. You just pick your spot, you do your little layout, and you start to glue everything down. And once you get it all where you want it, uh, I use decoupage and glitter um, to create that effect of snow. Ooh, I love that. And then mine's a little bit more complicated because it doesn't come with a lid, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's still really fun to do. So I've got my friend. My container still smells like pickle juice. I didn't really clean it. It still smells like pickle juice. Is that good? <laughs> yes. Because when I open a jar of honey, I expect to smell pickles. <laughs> so, because uh, of course, oh my gosh, I can use the glue to look like it's honey on the bottom of the thing. I put extra glue down. I've got my little French snowman and a little Paris charm. Yeah. You a snowman. You very French. Yeah. I do not know how to say anything in Fr in French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> I um my grandmother, mm -hmm. one of my grandmas was from Paris. So I do know a little. Um but you know. We <laughs> oui, we oui, will do. <laughs> oui, oui. Yeah, so honestly. Once you get your little seams down, I like to take decoupage and I just start to kind of dab it around the base of everything that it's exposed and sprinkle the glitter. I like to, I like to sprinkle it over something that can catch it so I can keep recycling my glitter. Um, oh okay. yeah, that's an important, really, a really important tip is to always make sure you can catch it. Yeah. It's like when you're using sprinkles and stuff and you're doing cupcakes and everything, you always want to be able to catch that, yeah. that pour over. I have been put on glitter restriction in more than one household. <laughs> glitter restriction? Glitter restriction, because I use way too much glitter and it gets everywhere. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I've, I've learned to catch my glitter. I use, you know what, I, I have like little silver trays everywhere. And that works just fine for me. And it still looks pretty covered in glitter and glue. So, That's Yeah, the funniest glitter story I've ever heard is, do you remember um, Ed Sanders from Extreme Makeover? Yep. He told me the story of, he, he did this um, pumpkin art project with his three, his, he has triplet daughters <laughs> and all her friends. And they did glitter. They covered glitter in pumpkins. And he said there was glitter on him for months. You just couldn't get rid of the stuff. It was all over his house. And he's not a glitter guy. He's like a he's a woodworking guy. You know, that's what makes it cool, though. That's what makes it awesome. Like that's a fu that's like him covered in glitter at his house makes me giggle. So that's not gonna work. I, I can't get use my jar. It's very frustrating to me. Do you have, um, you could use, okay, so you could use jars. All right, we're just gonna imagine this is clear. Yeah. And it doesn't have the pickle juice, pickle label on it. Can we imagine it? I can imagine it. Suspend our disbelief. Here's, I'll get it off later. Honestly, when you have all the stuff laid out, these don't take very long at all. I, um, so there's my little French snowman. <laughs> yeah. Man, one of these I did, I had a Buddha, you know, I did my little, <laughs> you can do anything, right? So you've got a little Buddha and. I love that. That's such a great idea, Sarah. And. Uh, all right, I'm going to cover my label with my ribbon. And when you're all set and you're all glittered up, um, that's when you glue down the top. Uh, if you have something easy to use like you do, I uh, I didn't. 
so I actually had to wire my lids with ribbon first. So if you're going to do what I did and use the dollar store champagne glasses or wine glasses, just mm -hmm. make sure you have your whole get up to hang on the tree done before you actually glue the lid down. Um, yeah, that's a really smart tip. Yeah, and I used, I used yarn, ribbon, beads. Um, I did it multiple ways just to see how easy it would be. If you make jewelry, you could do this easily with your jewelry wire and some beads. You know, um, super cute, super simple. Uh, but again, this is just ribbon and the knot held just fine. So, uh, and I like to, I use some uh, beads for decorative tops just to hide the funky part that happens when you, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. When you dremel it, it gets a little funky. Yeah. So you want to hide it. Yeah. And once you're set, you glue it down, which is the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to glue mine down because I'm going to wait until I can like actually take the pickle label off of mine and then I take a beautiful photo of it and put it up on our website too. I had a whole vat of glitter here just a few seconds ago and I'm looking for it. Ooh, I was watching it. Made today. What's that? How many projects have you made today? Oh... Uh... Eight? This is nine? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stuff around me, as you could probably imagine. <laughs> I have no idea where that glitter went. Literally, that's so funny, because that's like one of the essentials of, of like um, making holiday stuff is the glitter. Um, I, about the, the glitter. I have to make Christmas presents every year. Um, mm -hmm girl that would prefer a homemade present over a store-bought present any day of the week and I have really talented friends you know so we're kind of always trying to outcraft each other <laughs> oh. uh, but I have to say that this is a really great one because if you look I mean it doesn't take long at all right you could do anything yeah. do some of your kids toys you could do what you're doing and do the homage to bees to honeybees well, that's important. Um, what else? Pumpkin. I'm putting like little little gems in here, so because it's like disco bees. Absolutely, this is way cool. And um, you could use some jewelry, some pieces from old jewelry, keys. What else do I have? Um, I don't like. I love to go through my stuff and see what I have laying around that I can make something cool out of. Like my first stop when crafting is not to go to the craft store and buy something. It's to look around and see what I could use in the house. And that's that is so true. Because like you're doing, you're using some jars you have laying around the house. And I'm using, you know, plastic. I wouldn't drink champagne out of this. Let's be honest. <laughs> well, I would if that was all I had, but that wouldn't be my first go-to. Well, here, here's the cool thing. Um, hmm. I'm that girl that will go outside and pick pine cones and acorns and do fun stuff with it, right? Yeah. Here's a cool thing. Just I, I like to take fuzzy yarn, like something maybe has a little glitter and a lot of color, and I start wrapping it. It makes a great accessory inside these closes, um, inside your little Christmas ornaments. Super fun, super colorful. See? way better than I love that I love because the string really does add it adds that color that 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 pine cone needs it's just like asking for it it's like please please give me color yeah it's uh I, I'm really bad at this but kind of directing it but you can totally see right it's furry and it's cool I it is it makes it special and you can use those as like table setting things too you put little names on them and stuff Holders for absolutely. You can make them into little people. Oh, wait, that would be, you can make them into like little people, like little pine cone people. Put little pictures of your relatives on them, and well, that might be too far. I might have gone too far. Sculpted into people. I was like, dang, you're a way better crafter than I am. Pine cone people. <sighs> yeah, but that's, and you know what? 
another thing people don't realize, um, depending, you know, I've been only finding this size pine cone, which is kind of large to put inside one of these clothes. It, it takes up the entire cup. You can break off the bottom of your pine cone to make it smaller, which um, it's not as hard, difficult as people think, you know? And it gives you the perfect size. Okay, so I've gone a different way. My um my homage to the honey honey bee, it's not inside, it's on the outside. I'm like creating a little um monument to the honey bee. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, uh, you know, you would where you would do tributes to him. You're and funny. <laughs> it's my honey bee monument. Okay, so I wanted to do this other one. We have we have a few minutes still. Yes. Sure. So, I'm gonna do my more, more traditional one here. My glue gun is not cooperating with me today. It's like what? This is this is a really cool idea because you know what's honestly most people will bring back sand from the beach or seashells. Yes. You could do thing that reminds you of your summer vacation as a family and put a picture of you guys inside and throw some sand in there. It's adorable. I've yes, got, it is. Yeah, I've got some sand from our trip to uh, Cannes in France, so I could do something like that with a, you, you get the point. It's, I don't but you know. You have to put it in a can because it's, it's from Cannes, right? Yeah. <laughs> This is, look, it's a really fun idea, and for a dollar worth of cups, you get six ornaments, which I think is fantastic. Um, not everybody has a Dremel to cut the top off. Uh, honestly, a razor knife would work, but I would buy extra cups because you're probably going to crack a few. You um, might want to, if you tape it, too, if you're going to use a knife or something, just to make sure, like, if it does start to shard, you're not, like... You're so smart. I agree. But don't yeah. be, this is really what it looks like at the top, and that's what hot glue and ribbon is for. You just kind yeah. of mask it, you see? Ribbon is your friend. So that's kind of, it's super fun. Um, and that's like, I have old fabric from pillows that I ripped up, and I braid it and wrap it around the top. Oh, that's cool, too. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's all this is, you know? Like, you've got some of your son's old shirts that he doesn't want anymore, but they have some cool color to them. I shred it and braid it. I love the braiding idea. I think that's so super smart because, like, I, you know, I, like every mom, has, like, a bunch of baby clothes. I'm like, I'm going to make something with these someday. And the Sunday is just not really coming, I guess, so... And you know what, this is, um, for me, one of my friends calls them a memory box. And that's what it is. So I think it's really cool if you use your kids' clothes, you know? Because you're like, oh my God, that's from his little, do you remember his little Oshkosh, but gosh, how handsome. Yes. Little <laughs> I can't believe you remember. I remember Oshkosh, but gosh. <laughs> mm. Okay, so then this is like a more traditional one in an ice cream cup. So then I take ribbon and put it around this yes. right here. Yeah, and this is pretty cool. I like when it has um, when it has some fuzzy coming off the side. Then I don't have to be so perfect with my ribbons. Oh my gosh! I was looking for these the last the last project, and because I couldn't find my punches, I made a present earring because I was frustrated. So I'm glad that I couldn't find them. I'm glad the universe decided to hide them from me. <laughs> I, um, you know what's cool too? You could take the clothing, like your kid's clothing, and make flowers with them and put those inside. So it's really just, I, I do so much with hot glue. It's, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and <laughs> I'm gonna take 10 seconds to glue it, you know? Can I, have you ever made a flower out of, um, a lemon rind? I guess I have. Is it easy? You have it? Uh-uh. I'm going to do it because I have them here. Why do you have a lemon right there? I just happen to have this right here. <laughs> now, I love this because this is one of the things I used to, I, I like to throw parties. 
And you've done this before, probably with like an orange where you've gone around and around and around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Around and around and around. It's the same thing. You just keep going around. So you have like a continuous piece. That's how I obsessively peel my apples. You do not. I do. I, and Your apples you do this with? What do you do with them when you're done? What do you do with the peel? Nothing. It's just like my own weird little quirk. <laughs> you can make flowers out of them. So like for a punch bowl kind of thing, you could do this and then, and then they can freeze them and then make them be part of like an ice sculpture for a party. Now I just happen to have these seriously and I like doing this and I thought this could be fun. Super. It smells really good here all of a sudden too. <laughs> it's very citrusy all up in here. So I have the rind, right? Yeah. And then all it is is just taking it and then making it go the way it doesn't want to go and around and around and around. You see? Oh. You're the host. You can host this. Apple flowers all over the place. Is this you obsessively do this already? With my apples, yeah. So of course my this lemon has an extra little something something it doesn't need. Let's take that. You're like a moil. What's that? You're like a moil. I am. I'm a moil. Without the all the all the like ceremonial stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then a toothpick. That's cute. Too bad you can't stick that inside your Christmas ornament. See? So if you're already doing that with lemons, you could totally do this with some leftover fabric. Do the same thing. Yes, and that's what you were doing. You're doing all this stuff, and it reminded me that I have this right here. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the same thing. It's my phone. It's the, look, look our lemon yeah. peel and our flower. So honestly, you could make this out of anything you've got laying around the house. I would, um, if I were you, I would go through your kids' toys and find the most beat up truck you can and do a Christmas scene with it with a bottle brush tree. So cute. That's a great idea. You tie it to the back like he's hauling his tree home for Christmas. Oh, he would be into that too. Right? I love that idea. That is awesome. I am psyched. I need, I need to put a ribbon around this to make my little ice cream cup like my traditional thing and I need some glitter on it. So I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish all these projects that I didn't quite finish that aren't camera ready yet. But it's been awesome. I'm really glad you came by today and you and played with me. Look, I will, I will tell you, this is a super fun craft and you can crank out a bunch of different presents really quickly and they're, they're keepsakes, which I love. So thanks for letting me come visit. They are. I feel kind of like when I was a little kid and I would call up my friends, I'm like, can you come out and play? Um, we still do that here in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we still do. And we're adults. Can you come out and play? You want to come craft? Hey, what are you doing today? You want to go pick pine cones? Yes, we do do that here. <laughs> can I be your neighbor? Yeah. We would have so much fun. We'd get in so much trouble, though, don't you think? Mischief, not trouble. Mischief. Yeah. Trouble is where, like, you do something wrong. Mischief is where you just sort of almost do something wrong. I would be tasking Mark all the time, like, hey, I got an idea. Oh, he would. Fools? <laughs> Might start drinking more. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun laughing. Thanks for letting me play with you guys. Oh, thank you, Anitra. I really appreciate it. If you don't follow Anitra on Twitter, you should. I do. And oh, I wanted to ask you, what's Funkology? Oh, okay. So Funkology is my uh, blog that I started to put up all my crafts. Um, but it's, you know, it's live now, but it's not pristine yet. I've actually been adding a whole bunch of Christmas crafts to it. So they'll be live soon. Um, awesome. Yeah. Well, we'll link to it when I have, like, when I finish this project, I will link my project to Funkology, because Funkology is where is Anitra's at, I guess. I, um, yeah, so I, 
I believe my design philosophy is functional design with a K. So funkology is the study of funk. I believe that um, it should be functional, but it should be funky and cool at the same time. Uh, so yeah. My well, I feel like I'm going to just, oh, because I believe in that too. And thank you for being our funk leader. Yes, yes. Weird is rad. <laughs> Weird is rad. I think you should be a little bit off center because you know what? I thought about this recently. There would be no reason to giggle if everything was so perfect. Like, what would we have to giggle about if life was perfect? I, you know what, I'm not interested. It takes more, uh, it creates more wrinkles to frown than to smile. So I'm all about giggles and laughter. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm not about wrinkles either. I think that they are legal. I think they shouldn't happen. Well, you know, they're there. <laughs> As I step farther away from the camera. <laughs> um, let's craft together soon, okay? Yes, darling. Thank you, Anitra. Bye. Bye. Thanks for popping in. Follow Nitra and Nitra and make it done. And go to funkology.com because that's where the funk is at. She's bringing it. This has been an amazing.